welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy for you to be here today as I'm going to do something quite different. I'm going to show you the exercises that I have been doing since starting my 10 weeks at training challenge a few weeks ago. I hope that this will also inspire you to start if not already done so. And these are taken from the videos that I have been watching from YouTube and I think they are more interesting than just the conventional crunch. So I hope that this can motivate me and you to keep doing the ab exercises. They are doable and it is not too long, just 10 minutes. So I hope you will enjoy, you will like this video later on and please click like, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Usually, I will start with the traditional crunch. For each app exercise, I will do it for 30 seconds. But in this video, because I was just showing you guys the different types of exercises and I was doing the talking as well, so I actually couldn't do 30 seconds. The tap and crunch is something that I have just learned recently to do and I think it's a great variation to the traditional crunch. Bicycle crunch Straight leg bicycle crunch is a good variation to the traditional bicycle crunch, but here I should straighten my leg a little bit more. Starfish Crunch. I just love the name and basically I love the pain this one brings to me. It is really effective I think. Try to squeeze your tummy as much as possible when you're doing the jackknife. You should really squeeze your tummy and not to strain your shoulder, neck and head too much. Reach out as much as possible and touch your toes. Always remember to squeeze your tummy when you're doing this one. Usually after all the crunches, I will do the reverse crunch because it is good to mix up the exercises a bit so that I won't strain my head, shoulders and of course the neck too much. While you are doing the ab hold, you can also lower your legs as it is good for training your lower ab. Oblique crunch, I'll do it on the right and then on the left. Try to focus on the side that you are doing so that you will squeeze the muscle say on the right side and yes this is really tiring
but it is great it feels great guys now as you're doing the oblique crunch left try to focus using your muscles on the left side Similarly, when you're doing the sitting leg lift, focus on the right side of the muscle that you are using. When doing the sitting crunch, Really focus and squeeze your abs as your legs go in. In this sitting leg lift, please remember to hold for 3 seconds. Even though it's so hard and actually don't follow me in this video, I haven't done it for 3 seconds. But I know you guys can do it. Mountain climber is one of my favorites. It is so much fun and it is simply great to change the position. When you're doing plank jump, please remember to keep your arms straight and firm on the ground. This one is really effective and is a killer for me. After the prank jump, I normally like to do the twisting mountain climber, which is a variation to the normal mountain climber, and it is just so great. When doing the plank and crunch, please remember to go all the way in when you do the crunch. When I was doing the plank and pike, I shouldn't go down too low there. It should be in a plank position. When doing the up and down plank, try to keep your body as stable as possible so that you don't Twist your arms, shoulders, and injure yourself. I usually finish off with the elbow plank and keep yourself steady, stable, and just hang in there. You are almost there. Like and subscribe as well. So goodbye.